Hey y'all, it's Alicia here and I'm back. Excuse me y'all, ears acting up today. But I'm on hand to do a wrestling talk because there's some topics I want to talk about and then there's some topics that came to my head that I think it should be talked about. And things. So we're gonna start, we have one, two, three. We have three stories if I don't add no more. So let's get started. So this might this video might get uploaded later tonight. So let me just move on. So let's come and talk about the hurt business because I do not like the storyline the way it's going now. As y'all know, I am very invested in that. And then one of the things I was very shocked on Legends Night and think Vince McMahon now has a new favorite and it's not Bobby Leslie, it's Ritter. And rumors, this is what rumors are headed, but this was by yesterday night um, from Walt Culture, um, from what culture here on the tube, um, and um, if like I said, I don't wanna I do say this um, company, um, this um, YouTube name, if they do their research, um, Wrestling Hub and Wrestling Media, um, they have said that Bobby Lashley in the next coming month, couple of weeks, that he might be dropping that. Universal Championship title to Ritter. Now, to me, to throw him, like, number one, have Ritter beat him this past week, Bobby Leslie is a like, dominant man. Yes, he's up there in age. Okay, he's about 40-something years old, but the man still looks good. Still, I mean, don't, um, if you're going to have him, and I know he has always said, Bobby Lashley has always said, he wants a chance to wrestle Brock Lesnar. Now, do you th do I think we will get it? I think we will get it, but not now. I think we will get it this year, but I think um, if we get it, I don't think it will be like at WrestleMania. I think it's going to be at a low, I hope it's at WrestleMania if we did get it. Because that's a big, let me just say, that is a big, um, I want to say that's going to be a big match if that is happening. Now, with the other members, I mean, we are seeing dissension right now because the storylines, they are giving the Hurt Business, um, I don't like how it how it's looking and think. So, we're, I'm just going to put the question and think, um, I need to put the question, what does the Hurt Business need to do to get that stamina that they had months ago for 2021? That is that. So the next thing I wanna come and talk about, it looks like I'll be talking about three things today. Um, the next thing is, let me talk about this. Um, WWE Cardi B skit they pulled this past Monday and thing and because I got a lot of things to say about that. Okay, as y'all know, during the segment Monday, it was a skit between um, Angel Garza and Tori Wilson and the Boogeyman, Nikki Cross with our truth and so they had um toy wilson tell garza oh about my friends ariana grande cardi b and thing so cardi b was mentioned would be do cardi if you know if y'all have not noticed from the, um noticed from her career she has always said she's a big wwe fan especially of the women's wrestling to get me to say did WWE ask her first before before uh, that night? Did they ask her, can they use her name? The I, it was somebody else that I can't I can't think of. Uh, it, they said Cardi B, Ariana Grande, oh, and Kylie, Kendall, Kendall Jenner. So that's that. Did they ask them, can they use their names just for a segment? Just to mention their name. 
Okay, the reason I mentioned those names is because I'm thinking, okay, are they going to have these three ladies do music for WrestleMania? WrestleMania is around the corner, as we all know. So that was that. Cardi B reacted in a way as she, she, she was just reacting to it. Okay, she was surprised. She was taken back by it and everything. And I, if I was an artist and I heard that my name was used in a WWE thing, I would have wanted to be, one, been known about it, and number two, been asked to use my name. That's that. But um, Cardi B just uh, was just reacting. To, she just reacted to the skit. That's all she was doing on social media, just reacting. Okay, Lacey Evans decided to react to it because Cardi B all night was tweeting and reacting to everything. She react, um, she reacted and Sasha replied. I mean, she had good things to say and everything and stuff like that. She was just reacting. And Lacey come in and put this long uh, comment in it. And, and, you know, Lacey always said, you're nasty. And then Cardi B had to clap back. I'm not going to get into details, but she had to clap back at and, and, um, Lacey Evans. Now, I'm going to get to come back to Lacey Evans. Now, doing what that skit with Cardi B's name was mentioned, it was a ploy to um, get the title off, off of Garza and put it back on our trip. Okay? That's all that was. So, I mean, she was just reacting to the scene and stuff with the boogeyman and everything and stuff. That's just the, how I see it. But now, Lacey Evans, um, sh sh if she didn't have nothing nice to say, then, then say it, don't say it at all and stuff. Because she like, said she would put them hands on her. Uh, girl, um, hello, Lacey Evans. Cardi probably can really do some hurting on you. I'm just saying. So I'm wondering if the rumors are true and Cardi B is going to be performing at WWE's WrestleMania. Hmm. Is she going to be hosting or is she hosting? Let's say, is she hosting or performing at WrestleMania? She always has said, and I actually think Cardi B has what it takes to be a wrestler. I'm going to say it. I actually think the way that she moves and the way she comes at you, she she has probably has a good, good amount of ways of being a manager or valet or be a wrestler. I promise y'all, that's, that's my feeling about it now. Let me go on and talk about Tamina. Okay, we haven't seen Tamina in a good while since the draft. Okay, we haven't seen her since the um before the draft. Okay, we haven't seen her since then. Okay, since then we haven't seen her, and I'm going okay. I know she's still on SmackDown. Is it that they can't find nothing for her, or is it? They don't want to do nothing. The reason that I'm getting that, getting that is going, they could do a lot with her. You got Jay and Roman Reigns together and think, why y'all don't add her to that dynamic? That's the one thing they could be doing right now with Tamina. They could be adding her to that dynamic. And I'm going, that would be awesome. And like, now, Paul Heyman has three that he needs to control. Roman Reigns, Jay, and Tamina. So, my thing is, do y'all want to see Tamina Snooker join Roman Reigns and Jay Uso as, as an ally with to them? Okay, so now, the last part of the day, and I'm going to try to make this as sweet and short as possible. But I want to come and talk about the men superstars for a reason because I want to talk about Nia Jax. So as y'all know, Nia Jax has torn with the um all of of let me see all of November and December. She has tormented um tormented Lana. And you know Lana went through tables and everything. So if Lana went through tables if it wasn't 
Naya doing it, it was Shayna Baszler. Now, since Shayna and Naya has lost the titles, should should the oh my gosh, should Vince McMahon be worried is one, and should Vince McMahon now start adding men to be down there at that ring, be down there at that ring doing Nia, match, Nia Jax matches. The reason I'm getting to say that, I know half, half of us fans feel sometimes Nia don't know her strength and Nia goes too far and everything. So now my thing is since Nia and, and Baszler lost those titles to Charlotte and Oscar, what is your opinion? Because my I'm a fan of opinions going like the men need to start getting involved because it's getting that Naya's doing a lot of botching. And then I'm going like when they announced the big men who they sent back to training, was Naya part of that group too? Think about it. Think about it before you comment. Was Naya part of that group that needed to be retrained? Because I know for I I say for a fact I do respect Naya, but Summer to me I think her training needs to um let's just say be um something about her needs to be. Cause when it, cause she does do a lot of boxing and her matches, they are, they are not so far. And then sometimes I feel like she is becoming a liability of how many females she has hurt in this past year. So y'all, let me hear what y'all want to see WWE do better with Nia Jax for 2021 and the safety that she don't hurt nobody for 2021. All right, y'all. I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.